It's fun. I don't work. I play. And I get paid for it. I get picked up by a small four-person sensor company. So I sell that into basically every house that's in Houston. And I go down all the way to South Texas as well. So I also work with SpaceX down there, helping them build and, and test those rockets. Just a nerd of nerds. But, you know, I can visualize very complex things from, you know, quantum mechanics all the way up to, you know, how stars form and work. And I could never figure out, you know, where is God influencing things? How is he influencing things? They, they referred to me as Angry Andy because I had these questions and I didn't have any, any solid answers. So met Dan and Clinton at the local sports bar doing trivia night on Tuesdays and I sit next to them and they have a, their Bibles there and they're doing their Bible study for their uh, discipleship. And they gave me some time to listen to me and I asked them some questions and they were patient with me. And a couple weeks went by and Dan's like, all right, Andy, when's the last time you've been to church? And you know, how do we get you to show up? I'm like, well, what kind of church is it? They're like, we just read the Bible and we talk about it. We don't prophesize, we don't go and Bible beat or thump, we're just there to talk and listen. And then we have our house churches that we'll go to afterwards and talk with more, more in depth, more intimate in terms of how our lives are influenced by the sermons and then you know, group prayers and whatnot. And so I'm like, all right, I'll give it a chance. You now I haven't been to church probably in a decade and a half. So I'm sitting there in the crowd, nervous as all heck, thinking that someone's gonna pull the fire alarm or is gonna do something dumb. I chalk it up in my mind as, you know, first message received, you know, you, this is a warning, you don't belong here. You know, you're, you're, you're an outsider. But came back that, that next Tuesday to uh, trivia night with, with Dan and Clinton, and we talked about this is a typical agnostic questions. You know, why does God allow evil? Why did he even let Satan exist in the first place? Well, guess what the next sermon was about? So that following Tuesday, after that sermon, I'm asking them like, all right guys, things are getting a little weird. So we start talking about something that's more personal to me and my family. Um, I've had some falling out with some family members and things that in my mind couldn't be forgiven. So we're sitting there talking about forgiveness. And then of course that next Sunday, um, the sermon was on forgiveness. And I'm sitting there like, all right, this is very, very, very strange. Why is this happening? This is, I, and I had never gone into church with an open ear, you know, an open mind, just trying to listen to sermons. The next Sunday, Dave Edwards gets up there and starts going over Philemon. Philemon. And, you know, the, the message being, you know, you can run away, but then you're accepted back as, as a brother without question. There wasn't a dry eye in the house, I don't think. Everybody felt that one. When something happens, it's happenstance. You know, it's just one off. Uh, twice is coincidence. Uh, the first level of significance in statistical analysis is when you have a three data point group. Third time is a pattern. And then once you have a pattern to recognize that something is in control, the fourth time it happens after that signifies there's something else going on. And for me, something reached out from the ether to slap me upside the head. I was, I was just in awe that something would bother. I've been outside of the church for 38 years. And for it to answer me. And then, you know, a couple of months went by and we were sitting in the sports bar again on trivia night last week. And it was my birthday coming up the, ne the, the next Tuesday on the 6th. And I was sitting there just thinking, you know, we haven't had a house church in a couple weeks. And so I'm like, well, it's my birthday. It's a Tuesday, which would be a trivia night anyway. Why don't we just do a baptism? And so both Clint and I got baptized on the same night uh, from Dan. And I made sure to reach out to Dave to make sure he was there so he could see the full circle. And he showed up. And the entire house church was there too to witness. So, no matter where you are, don't be afraid to talk to people. If they're open to it, they'll listen to scripture, they'll apply it to their life, and they'll see.